Hey y'all, I am Naomi with Ninos and Nature and I'm going to show you how to make a kite paper haunted house. Um, you can do this with origami paper too, but I love doing it with kite paper because when you put it on your windows, the sun shines through and it creates this beautiful Halloween window display. So you can look in the blog post and there are more ideas on how to make the things in my window display, the kite paper maple leaves, the little ghosts, all fun ways to make your very own Halloween decorations at home. And the best part is you can bring your kiddos into the process if they want. Now the haunted house might be a little tricky for them, but there's still some folds that they can absolutely help with. So let's get started. Okay, so this is one that I have already folded. We will need three of these to make our house. And so, we can go ahead and get started. This is um, just a regular piece of kite paper, just like what you get in the packet. It's linked, um, I think it's 15 by 15 centimeters. Um, so we're gonna start just by folding it diagonally, right in half. And then don't fold it all the way on this next one. We're just using it to mark. So you wanna have everything line up and then you're just gonna press in this bottom folded corner and that's just gonna leave a little mark for you to see. So now you can see that when you fold these, you want this little triangle to be right in the center. So you're gonna take this top part and fold it over, make a nice crease, and then you're gonna flip it over and do it to this side. Take this top triangle, center it with that mark you made and fold it over. And then you're gonna open it up just a little bit and take one of these folds and bring it into the middle and crease. And we're gonna do that again on the other side. Fold this back onto itself and crease. And you might hear my family in the background because Ash is laugh. You have kids. Okay, so this is the base for getting started. You wanna make sure you have nice creases. This is the funky part that it's really hard with kite paper and I never get it perfect and that's okay. You're gonna fold it over mm, like a third of an inch, maybe one centimeter. So you're just grabbing one side of that flap and folding it down and slowly press your finger till you get to this part crease. And you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? So we wanna try to avoid getting really gnarly folds. So you're just gonna really slowly fold it back onto itself and it's okay if it creases a little bit. This isn't part that you'll see, but have the triangle go up this a little bit and then just fold it down. And you can see mine has a crease in it and that is okay. That is okay. So now we're gonna turn it over and do it onto this side. So I'm gonna fold this down about one centimeter and then slowly start to work and you see how if it starts to pucker I just try and push my finger in there and get that pucker out so that the fold works its way up to where it'll pull this down into a triangle again mine are never perfect but you can't tell in pictures and it's okay okay so there we go so the most important thing is that these two have a midpoint right do you see that fold where they have a midpoint make sure everything is pushed down really nicely okay and now what we're gonna do is flip it over and fold it down just a little bit, just to where those two triangles, that midpoint we just had, to where those meet. And you're gonna crease it. And then you're gonna open it and fold it back the other way. On that crease. Good. So it looks like this, right? Okay, now we're gonna open it up and we want it to come right to this line. So we're gonna fold it down and back on top of itself. Don't go too far like this is trying to make me do. Kite paper is so fun. <laughs> there we go. And it should, that fold that you just made a minute ago should make this nice and easy. There you go. Okay, now, okay, so now you're gonna flip it over and we're gonna just slowly, we're gonna start on one side, we're at the top. We 
going to just pull this out just a little bit to create a little like kite wing kind of thing. So I'll show you again. So you're going to just slowly open this up and it might, you know, stick your finger in there if it get any funky folds. Slowly open this up a little bit, pull it to the side just a little bit and there's just a natural fold that it'll go to. You see right there and crease it down. And this takes a little bit of practice and that's okay. Awesome! And now push everything down so that it's all creased and happy. And this is what the front will look like. Okay. All right, now now you're gonna open this up slightly. This right here, you're just gonna fold down in a little triangle, but let it pop back up. It's just gonna be a little guide for you. And now you wanna take this and fold it in. And look, you see how this triangle is gonna open up? That's perfect. You're gonna fold this in like maybe one centimeter, maybe a third of an inch, and work your way back up to look what happens. This triangle that you made just naturally kind of folds right down, right? Yay! Now we're gonna do it on this side. So you're gonna make a little fold right there. It doesn't need to stay down. And now you're gonna fold maybe like a centimeter, a third of an inch to make it nice in there, and then you're gonna slowly work. Ooh, try to avoid all of the buckling of the kite paper. Work your way up and you see how that just naturally sticks right down. Perfect. Okay, we're all good so far. This is what it looks like for now, right? So now, I'm gonna flip it back over you're gonna bring these top triangles towards the center. Right, so you're gonna take this top side right here and fold it in so that you get a nice point right at the top. Good. Beautiful. All right. So we have two. Now I just need to fold one more. Okay, we've got our three little pieces all done. So just taking a regular old glue stick. And I'm just gonna glue down a few pieces that you don't want to open up. Um, so the tops, really, you might need to use a little bit of extra glue. We are going to be doing a little bit more folding as we assemble it, so don't feel like you have to glue down everything. You'll have a chance again. Um, I just like to do this part. So, the gluing is down. This is where you can see all of the imperfections. It's okay. These don't need to be perfect. Be magical. Okay. Now we have those glued, so now we can assemble them. Okay, so you wanna find your best one to be the middle. I always choose that one. So for the one that's gonna go on the left side, you're gonna fold this right flap in. Right, so it'll sit right like that when you assemble it. And for the one that's gonna go on the left side, the right side, <laughs> You're gonna fold this lift flap in. Yes, I definitely just did that trick. Okay, and so it'll be like this when it's all done. So this is the part where it takes a little bit of finagling. Right here, and I'll try and do this so that you guys can see really well. So you want it to essentially be like that on the bottom. That looks good. And like this on the top. So this is what it'll look like. So I'm gonna just take my glue stick and just lift this up a little bit. And put my glue. Trying not to let everything slip too much. And go ahead and glue that down and then I'll glue this side down a little bit. And then you can lift up these pieces and put some glue down on this flap. And that'll hold that in place and do that for this side. 
not to crease it too much like maybe I just did. Okay, how cute is that? So this is all glued together. If you need to um, turn it on the back, like you could glue maybe these looser flaps down if you wanted to. You don't have to, but it never hurts to add just like a little bit extra. And then now to finish it, you're going to take this bottom and fold it up like that. And be really mindful when you're creasing. You want to get a nice clean corner. And then you can go ahead and glue that down too. Push that part down. Cute! Okay. You just glue that down. And now the last step is to fold this in you can glue that down a little bit of glue fold that in and then you're going to fold in this side as well so add your glue and then go ahead and bring that side in and you have your cute little haunted house and now we're going to just go ahead and add um, a door and a few windows. Now, I'm not fancy with this. For the windows, I have some scrap that I've already cut into. I'm just going to cut two rectangles. Maybe they'll be squares. Actually, yes, I'm going to make them squares today. So I'll even fold it in half. And then just cut. Voila! Those will go right there. Those will be the windows. And then for the door, you want to cut um, an arch. It doesn't need to be perfect. Nothing ever does. And so this is going to be the base. And then we'll cut the black to go over it. I think this might be a little too tall. So maybe I'll trim it just a little bit. There we go, so that will be the door. And then to cut um, the top for it, you literally are going to, here, maybe I'll do it out of this scrap. You're just gonna cut like a cross shape. And you can trim it um, once it's cut out to fit over it. So you're gonna cut lengths to make a little black cross. And then we'll just glue that on top to make your door. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be even. If you have another idea or another way you want to get creative with it, by all means, it is your spooky casa that you're making. Okay, so once you cut it out, then you put it on top and you see like, okay, I need to, if I wanted it to be like that, I would just need to trim a little bit. There we go, trim, trim. And then we will just go ahead and glue it in place. All right, y'all, there we have it. I added a third little window, I feel like it looks cute. Um, so to hang this up, you would just put some tape rolls on the back, stick it to your window, and you can use this year after year. So you can make this, and then you can make some of the kite paper maple leaves that I have on my blog to go around it. You can make some little ghosts, some little pumpkins, and make a whole amazing DIY Halloween window display. Um, I hope that you enjoy. Check out my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of my videos and tutorials. I love teaching you guys how to make crafts at home. I also am a Spanish teacher. I have lots of hands-on play-based Spanish courses for families. Make sure that you check those out as well on my website. Ciao amigos!